Little bus shit. stop. Two bikers drunk fucking fall over laughing our asses out. Perky's up there. And everybody got a little tense there. So we got up there, we're sitting there partying our ass off. I look at that Raz like, is that Drew, Andy Drewlard? Look who's going to him. Like, clearly, Andy Drewlard is going to be... Where was it, though? It's north of La Crosse by, like... Yeah, closer to Toma. Like, like 15 miles north of La Crosse. Fulton City is way the fuck up there. But this was this is in the middle... Right. It, was only, it wasn't that far out of La Crosse. It wasn't that far out of Fulton City. Fucking biker bar. Sparta? Close. Close. Yeah, yeah, but not that direct, that distance, not that, it's not there anymore, it burned down. But no, it's halfway between City and La Crosse. Not like Cochran. No, just literally up at Big Hill in the middle of nowhere. I, if I have, I don't have any recollection of it. I just know it was fucking half hour, 20 minutes, half hour from La Crosse. Easily. You go up this hill through a fucking gate. Well, we got to the gate, and there's like some fucking drunk biker stumbles out. He's like, eh, hey, tickets. And we're like, shit. Like, uh, give me your tickets, guys. Right. Like, is this... Is this a concert or is this like, is this a meth lab, you know? And then they're like, okay, go ahead. Yeah, RVs and shit. Like, like one of my dad's best friends. Total fucking weird dude. Of course, he's there. And he's like, he's like, hey, you guys are coming back to my trailer. He has this trailer that's shaped like a fucking egg, like this, like this old aluminum egg-shaped trailer, and he's got it staked down with like log chains. Like the only thing keeping it from going all the way down the fucking hill is two big log chains staked into the ground. Six, six to eight for sure. All four, yeah, all all four of us were there. And he's on the bed strumming the guitar, and he's bouncing while he's doing it. And we all backed up to the other half of the trailer, like trying to offset his fucking weight, because it's like we're gonna go down this hill and die because he's just oh straight down. Like that. That man was pretty fucking confident in his steel stakes. Huh? Yeah, well, he parked it at the edge because nobody else would fucking park there. This was the biggest pile of shit camp ever seen, and he had the biggest log chain locked on the door. Oh, oh yeah, the log chain on the door was was bigger than the one attaching it to the side of the hill. Yeah, right. Like, oh, I bet he's got riches in there. Something about Linda. I remember something about Linda. I was like, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. we. Oh, he did, yeah. But we literally backed out. Like, everyone besides him was in the back half of that trailer trying to keep his weight balanced. Oh, to, to begin. To begin. That's where you start before you go down the rest of the hill. Yeah, you're dead by then. So yeah, the rest is irrelevant. The first like, 30 drop, yeah. Dead, I don't so. care. We like, oh. We almost didn't get to go there, people. That's, he did not want to go on my like, fucking Hey, that way. was, that was amazing. I used to surprise her at work. She didn't know she was going. That's what we were going to do. Hey, we almost didn't make it to Purdy Sheen because Dick Face was diving. She was on the wrong side of the road. Which one? Bishop is Dick Face? That that should go without saying. So if you guys were on a vertical cliff, you were literally like right on the Mississippi then, right? We're opposite direction. Oh, it's a blip like that. That big bluffy shit. Like, I thought you were talking like the lacrosse bluff. Nope. nope. No. Past lacrosse. We were deeper in like two places. These are more wicked bluffs. It was just one out of nowhere, but you can see both of them. We opened it. The bike is in forever. Yeah, but it was shady as hell. 
Well, one, well, yeah, I went up there one day. We went, we went up there one day. It was like six o'clock or something. We went up, and I went to the bar, and I was like, I don't know, I'm a fucking jack. And the stripper was like, you can't swear in here before seven. And I was like, ha 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 ha. And the big fucking biker looked at me, and he was like, no, you can't swear in here before seven. I was like, sorry, sir, I'll have a jack in Coca Cola, please. Oh, right, right. When we were at fucking Jackal, my boss and some of the other fucking DJs were there. So it was like, hey, hey buddy. <laughs> yeah, I think it, that, that definitely helped. I was sure we were going to die in that trailer. I literally... We all got out, we're like, thank God. Yeah, because everybody, when you see the whole group and they're looking at each other like, yes, back up, counter, balance, weight, yes. Like, uh-huh. Because science. Right, let's... The, the side that's not death. Nice. That was classic. That was a good show, though. Well, we got fucked up. All I remember is we got back to your house and we were like, dude, we're, we're ordering Domino's. We can get Domino's like dirt cheap, like five bucks a pizza. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we ordered a fucking load of Like, put, put food in me. I got pizza on the way home. That's fantastic. <laughs>